Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market view. We've seen good strength in the US markets and they were up anywhere from about 0.2 to almost about 0.75% as the earnings season is progressing extremely well there and about 75 companies had de have delivered numbers better than expectations and off late after the record high that we've seen for most of the US indices, the small and the mid cap sector as a whole is doing exceptionally well there in US. Even European markets were up anywhere from about uh, 0.5 to almost about 1.15%. No major data points uh, to look at. And when we look at the Asian markets today, Japan is running away with an uptick of almost about 1.6%. As there is some kind of a approval for the aggressive monetary policy that the Japan is pursuing by most of the global monetary authorities. And we've seen the yen coming down to almost about 102 levels which definitely is supporting the sentiment and the flows there. But the rest of the Asian markets are not showing any kind of a strength. In fact, uh, Hang Seng and few other Asian markets are marginally down about 0.25%. In terms of flows, friends, FI is going to add bias in the cash market to the tune of 544 crore. The domestic institutions were sellers on Friday to the tune of about 504 crore. And in index futures, the FIs were biased to the tune of 338 crore. Importantly, friends, we have seen strength in the US dollar against most of the currencies and that is what is reflected in the weakness in the crude and some of the precious metals. Uh, so that is definitely boding well for our sentiment and even our markets continue to show a lot of strength both on Friday and Saturday. We had seen some marginal uptick and the uh, index is almost uh, touching 6100 and we are close to all time high of about 6200, 6250. Also, we are seeing uh, wider participation in the market by, you know, uh, participation coming in from auto, metals, some of the mid cap names, banks are showing a lot of strength. So there is some degree of uh, comfort and there could be some more upside in the market of about 80 to 100 points on the Nifty. On that note, let me invite Shaival to take us through important f of Q's data and strategies that we can have in the f of markets. Good morning friends, let's have a view at derivatives. Friends, in Saturday's special trading session, we have not seen a drastic or dramatic change in the market uh, on the activity as well as the FIS futures and options activity. Now friends, la during last two days, that is Friday and Saturday, we have seen long positions being accumulated in the market with every dip and due to which we have seen both cash as well as futures, Nifty has managed to close above 6100 levels. Now talking about the implied volatility friends, what we have seen is that it has uh, reduced marginally or say has remained almost flat. Now talking about the options activity friends, now since there are no events to play on and that market has entered into uh, watch and wait mode, we have seen that the activity is widespread. Now specifically to talk about whether it's writing or uh, buying, it's tough to say but yes, it's a mix of both. We have seen a combination of both in the past couple of trading sessions. Now 6200 and 6300 call option has seen a good activity. Whereas on the lower side put option of 6000, 6100 put option has seen a nice accumulation or say nice activity on the options front. Now as we are trading above the straddle break even point that is 6094 also we are above, we are above a weekly VWAP of 6050. A bias for the market is positive. A lower range for the week would be 6050 and on higher side 6150. Then we would be revising our targets if markets are able to bridge these levels as Nifty Future in Saturday's trade has closed near six, uh, closed at 6132. Our overall setup for the market is positive. Friends, from intraday perspective, Ambuja Cement is looking good. One can buy it with stop loss of 187 rupees 20 paisa. And even financial technology is looking good. One can buy it with stop loss of 830 rupees 90 paisa. Thank you. Here are the important news and events that we are tracking today. First of all, Mahindra Mahindra is looking at modifying some of its vehicles to help it uh, avoid the 3% additional uh, duty on the uh, sports utility vehicles and that's definitely going to be a bit of a positive for Mahindra Mahindra. Also, P from Blackstone is in talks with uh, the country's largest insurance LIC to buy a stake in stock holding corporation of India. So there is some amount of interest uh, that uh, these firms have in this particular company where uh, IDBI and IFCI are fighting for the control over the company. In an important development, the government plans to put in place a framework for revision of power tariff given the fact that uh, there is some kind of a cost escalation because of the inability of the coal India to supply the coal uh, to these power companies. So 
if there is some amount of uh, uh, revision in the power tariff definitely it is going to be positive for some of the power utility companies. And uh, in important development oil ministry has proposed to abolish the priority ranking uh, on the natural gas allocation which is being given to the urea manufacturers first and this could uh, possibly be diverted to the uh, uh, power companies and this is definitely sentimentally positive for some of the power companies because they will have access to this natural gas at a reasonable price. Tera Bank came out with numbers for the fourth quarter and numbers were not good as the profit has uh, dropped by more than 51 percent uh, mainly because of the higher provisioning uh, which have gone up by almost 70 percent to 342 crore and Shoba developers also reported about, about 28 percent kind of a fall in the consolidated net profit to almost about 69.6 .6 crore. Some positive news for Obera Reality is it is planning to tie up with Ritz Carlton for uh, the hotel management for its hotel which is uh, near Bandra Valley Sailing. And this is definitely a bit positive for uh, overall reality. So one can go long there with the stop loss of 234 and a target of about 250 to about 255. Lupin has uh, indicated that they are looking at launching about 20 to 25 products uh, in the US markets in the next about couple of years time. And uh, they are also looking at acquiring a brand in US. They came out with exceptionally good set of numbers. So one can go long on Lupin with a stop loss of 755 and a target of about 785 to about 798. Maruti, uh, there is going to be a positive effect of the yen which has come down to 102 levels both in terms of margin and in terms of overall operating uh, environment. So one can go long on Maruti with a stop loss of 1705 and a target of about 7, 1770 to about 1790. DLF some negative news as the company is looking at raising about 1888 crore through a institutional private placement the price band is about 222 to about 233 per share which is slightly below the current market price so one can short DLF with the stop loss of 242 and a target of about 230 to about 225. That is it from all of us friends have a great trading session and see you tomorrow at the same time.